picture or Nick Bockwinkle, you know, like some a couple like oh, wow. vintage pictures. I'm like, I'll take those. Yeah, thanks. You know, just give it to me. Yeah. And then my other friend gave me the Jesse the Body Ventura doll. You know those GI Joe dolls when he did the. G oh yeah. Yeah, I have two of those. It's crazy. You know? I'm like, thanks. Yeah, I used to find cool stuff when I was, you know, when I first, when I, you know, a lot yeah. of new, all the old nudie magazines, of course, you know, <laughs> back, Playboy was Playboy, but no, I used to find like, oh yeah, 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 they ain't, they ain't the same one, they don't have those, yeah. new, they ain't got no news in there. No, I, I know, but no, I got DVD players to, you name it, you know, I was always like that shit, you know, I was always like, yeah. oh, I'll take that home, I can fix that, you know, yeah, yeah. you don't, never know what you'll find out, you know. And you're like, oh, I'm a, but every night, you know, every day I work on a truck, I'm like, oh, this would be a great deathmatch tool. I could use this. <laughs> I could use this for another show that's just coming up, you know? But no. Uh, yeah, go I on. used to go dumpster diving as a kid when, <clears throat> yeah. when uh, I was uh, growing up in uh, right. Clayton County, Georgia. Yeah. We were the, it was, the apartments. We had these big dumpster bags. Yeah. Me and a couple of friends were going there. Dude, we find all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Of course, my mom would be like, don't go in there. You'll get tetanus or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I found like a whole art set one time, like right. a really good art set. Yeah. And, and some fishing tackle box and mm -hmm. toys and right. uniforms, like shirts and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I wear them, they stink like garbage. But yeah. No, no, no. Hey, hey, that's cool. I think. That's, I, <clears throat> I do remember one time I went to uh, my local school and I had to pick up a garbage can. And I looked in the box, there was a box inside the garbage can. It was a Sega Genesis system, and it worked, oh, really? and it had a WWF house show game. So I had, oh, wow. yeah, I was like, yeah, that's awesome, because that game was so popular, you know? I'm like, dude, mm -hmm. I'm, I still have it till this day, you know, I put it in a box, and yeah. <laughs> isn't, that, yeah. isn't that cool? It's like, it worked, I plugged it in, and I'm like, all right, it works. <laughs> Somebody must have, that? I know. Remember all those Nintendo wrestling games? <laughs> I still oh, have. Wrestling, yeah. I had WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the pro wrestling. Yeah, I had a pro wrestling. I know. When 64 came out. I got I got No Mercy. That's, that's yeah. probably my favorite game. Oh, and WWE, NWO, Revenge. That was another mm -hmm. good one. I had the was my two favorite. I think I had the wrestle the original pro wrestling one that came out. You know. That was featured. Yeah, Starman. And yeah, Starman. And yeah, 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 with the one that. I had that, and I also had one called Tag Team Wrestling. <coughs> I got from my Oh, I had birthday. that. I had that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I had that. I had that. That was another one I had. Mm hmm. Vintage games. So that, that was, that, yeah. So you know what? Like, I saw the movie The Wrestler. I'm like, wait a minute, that game looks familiar. You remember when the, kid, yeah, the yeah, guys yeah. play? They're, they're playing on the video in the trailer. <laughs> Hey, hey, in the movie The Wrestler, yeah. I, I think Freak, Freak Show told you the other day about yes. it, about a poster. There's a poster of me back oh. there when he's having, right by where he's having the heart attack. You can see my poster. Oh, I'll have to check that out. You told me about that. Also, uh, I'll have to scan it. And, and I took it. I took it one last time. One last time the CW. I was like, can we take these? And yeah. I, I don't remember who he asked, but uh, right. They said, yeah, go ahead and take it. So we took it. And I've got it here at the house. That's awesome. So I got me a movie prop. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was in that movie actually. I was part of the the Rawway scene when they went to Rawway for a taping. You know, Ron Killings was wrestling somebody, and Mickey was in the stands. You know, I was ringside. Uh -huh. I had my front row seat or second row ringside. You know, you could see me in a white T-shirt. Like, oh, okay, five minutes of fame. But I went outside to have a cigarette, and Mickey was out there. I didn't realize. I should have said hi. You know, I could have got a picture. <laughs> but. Yeah. Never know. That was cool that that movie was around. You know, it's still. Yeah. I wish they would make more movies like that. But actually, no. There were, actually there's going to be a really cool movie. Hopefully, pretty soon, right? The trade is coming out. By. Yeah, yeah. By our. Uh, yeah, that should be that should be pretty good. I mean, I, I actually watched the uh, Nick Mondo's. Yeah. Little, uh, other be uh, unscarred the Nick Mondo story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I got. I've, I've actually had that one. That was pretty cool. Yeah. A little in depth of his life. But this is, so. he's really pushing to have this done, hopefully soon, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I can't wait. He's doing, you know, you'd like to have yeah, it. I, I, I appreciate me a good wrestling documentary. Actually, I know. The, uh, yeah. the High Spots Bruiser Brody one. How is that? Not too long ago. How is that? I gotta, I gotta pick that one up. It's pretty good. I mean, yeah. um, I mean, a lot of the stuff, I mean, you already know. Yeah. But 
but it's still good, and you hear stories, mm-hmm. and they go really in depth about what happened to him when he was killed, you yeah. know, and yeah, yeah, it's just, but you know, but, you know, you get to hear what his wife had to say about him, right? I actually have a book, mm-hmm. uh, his his biography it was written by a. Larry Mustazik and uh, yeah. Barbara, uh, well, Ruger Brody's wife, they yeah. both wrote the book. And mm-hmm. I've read it once about mm-hmm. 10 years ago. And right. Yeah, I got it for my birthday, or no, not birthday, Christmas one year. And, then, uh, <laughs> yeah. and I read it as soon as I got it. Right. And now it's, I need, I want to read it again now since I've seen the, whatchamacallit, the dog again. That'd be kind of cool to read. Yeah. See. Yeah. Huh. I might have to pick up that book. I'll check that out too. But no, I'm not. Yeah, it's called it, it's called Brody. It's yeah. got a picture of Bruce and Brody on the mm. I love anything Brody. <laughs> I even have like one of those legend WWE figures, you know. <laughs> yeah, I got. Oh, so do I. So do I. I mean, like I said, I yeah. I always like Bruce. I mean, it. it I'm. What was my word? Oh, I, when I got older is when I really yeah appreciated him. Because mm-hmm. I mean, when I was a kid, I just yeah. thought he was some wild guy that I saw in the magazines. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I've seen that in WWF. Or, yeah, I know. Or, 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 and, you WCW know, and, or, and of course, then you see why he was. And yeah. Like, well, that explains a lot. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, so he was just, mm-hmm. yeah, he, he, he was very, he was a rebel and he didn't, you know, you, it's amazing. You, you see a lot of people wear his own style, and people wear his t-shirts. Own, people wear his t-shirts still, and it's awesome. You know, I got to get another one. I know. He, I'm, I, you think what? How? You yeah. think what? If he was still around, how how wrestling would be right now? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You know, you know would he? Have, I mean, he could, he could have. He was. He could have been a a, a very. Uh, mm-hmm. Viable cog for either the WCW, WWE, uh, yeah. Monday Night Wars, you know, you could have had him in there. And, mm-hmm. Or the ECW, so or the w- ECW era, you know, where they did that changeover. Or, or hell, if he'd been an ECW, he would have been something. Yeah, you could imagine, wow. You know, him and Terry Funk and Sabu. I know, I know, good old Terry, Terry Funk, I love, I could ne- you could never get, you know, have you ever gotten to see him live? I've seen him wrestle a couple times. Uh, no, nah, I can't say I have. Yeah. But my favorite match was my favorite match yeah. him. Even though everybody talks about his great crazy matches that he's had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In Japan, but when him and Dory or whatever, yeah. my favorite match of him was was against Ric Flair at the uh-huh. Clash of Champions, the high yes. match. Yes. Okay. Dude, knockout. That's my favorite match. Yeah, yeah. They really looked like they were fighting. Yeah. I mean, that was that was my one of my favorite matches, and uh, uh-huh. and I just remember him uh, after Flair beat Steamboat, I think at Capital Combat or something. Terry Funk came out and. Congratulate Flair and yeah. act like he said, "Hey, can I wrestle your title for your title?" And Flair said, "Somebody got to be in the top ten and yeah. and he wasn't in it. And then Terry Funk just attacked him and uh-huh. pile drove, gave him a pile driver on the table. I'm like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like public <laughs> I enemy. Thought, I thought Rick Flair broke his neck and <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and of course, you know, I, I'm eight or nine at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not thinking. I'm showing yeah. my stepdad. I said, "He just pile drove him on the table. <laughs> yep. He's dead." Yeah. <laughs> It's great. By the way, Rick Flair, hang in there, brother. Yes, I know. We were just I was just ashamed to hear about him. Well, you know, let's hope he gets yeah. gets healthy fast. You know. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. I, I'd be, I, you know, I I'd probably pretty up. I'd probably get pretty upset if he passed away. Cause he was. Yeah. He, he said, I mean, he, he's he, up he there. Right, he probably right threw Hulk Hogan, and uh-huh. Macho Man, and all the I know. and I got pretty sad when they passed away. Yeah. And the snookers and. You know? Yeah, yeah, him too. I should Macho Man's death should have been an omen for me. I got married. Yeah. On the day he died. Oh man. And I should have saw that as an omen because now I'm divorced. Right, right. <laughs> and I have joked with her. I have joked with my ex-wife about yeah. that. But, oh man, Macho Man died. I said that's not a good start to our, our marriage, huh? And she goes, Oh, shut up! It ain't nothing. I'm like, no. Okay. <laughs> I remember. You know, as a kid, I always uh, you'd, you'd always watch WWE, watch Macho Man, and I'd imitate him all the time. You know, I yeah. him, and I think I still ha- let's see if I can still do it. Like, mm-hmm, you know what I mean, Mean Gene. Oh, that's pretty good, huh? <laughs> Isn't that good? I know. That's pretty good. Dig that's it. Pretty good. Feels <laughs> snapping into a Slim Jim. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I remember Halloween. I actually did that. I, I dressed up of like. I dressed up at my sister's party like him. It was pure fun, you know. One year, I'll post that picture later. It was funny. I had a referee. A, f- a guy was a playing a referee for something. So I was like, "Hey, raise my hand," you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
they didn't know I grew the beard out, you know. <laughs> just yeah. found some old threads and just threw it together, you know. There you go. I love doing that. I think I was like stone cold one year for, for my friend's party. I DJ'd. <laughs> I can't even remember. I was uh, like, <laughs> God. <laughs> just fun. Then I was the Undertaker. Yeah, I, I, I was the Undertaker. I was the Undertaker one year, too. <laughs> Ooh, I, I never dressed up as a wrestler. No. Like, yeah. I, I always wanted to be something scary. But. Right, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I always... Something scary. Yeah, I always did that, too. The Jasons, to the Freddy Cougar. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right, right. I was watching that. I was watching somebody just had that new video game that's out. That, what, that Friday the 13th? That's crazy. You know? Yeah. It, making a comeback for that game, huh? I don't play that many you games. Like I don't play that many games anymore, you know? Yeah, I don't either. I, no. they, they've gotten, man, I, I'm, I'm an old school gamer. Yeah. And these new games they got out, I, I got, just don't. I, I just can't. Yeah. I can't, I can't figure them out. My son, yeah. I got my son a PlayStation 4 for, well, Santa Claus got him a PlayStation Yeah, yeah. Got him a PlayStation 4 and, uh, right. and he, he got him, um, uh, Minecraft and mm -hmm. then for his birthday I got him Marvel Avengers and he's like, Daddy, can you help me with this? I'm like, uh, well, that's a, you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. I said, yeah, you bring your buddy over. Brothers, I'll be able to help you. Bring your buddy over to the house. He'll help you out, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kids he wants me to get him Grand Theft Auto. I'm like, no. No. <laughs> it's too, you're too young for that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little too, uh, <laughs> when it was out. I, I, I know, that stuff's like, uh, my kid, my nephew plays that. I'm like, hey, good luck, kid, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. The kids have all these games. I say, why don't you play a wrestling game? Come on, check this out. This is more fun, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These I actually have this little console that I, yeah. I haven't played in years. I really should get it. It's a, it's a, it plays both Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. Mm -hmm. I've got a whole box of Nintendo games right. and, and a couple of Super Nintendo. And yeah. I, I think about it, every now and then I think about it, I'll get out and play with it today and then I'll never get around to doing it. No, no, do it. Just have fun, you know? <laughs> yeah. Throw, throw a wrestling game in there or something. <laughs> yeah. Your son probably hasn't seen one of them, huh? Has he? <laughs> a, a wrestling game? Yeah. No, he, 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 I, I tell him, I said, hey, you know, just for my sake, because yeah. I like to yeah. try and play. I said, why don't you get two, WWE 2K17 or something? He's like, yeah. Nah, I want, I want an Avengers or I want Minecraft. I want Ninja Turtles or Power of Rangers yeah, of the something. Death. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, he likes wrestling. Yeah, yeah. And he, and, but, you know, he, he's not a big, big, huge fan. He just likes John Cena. And, yes. Uh, God, who else does he like? He likes, uh, mm -hmm. he likes Dean Ambrose and, uh, oh, yeah. and, and Charlotte. <laughs> people and, that, and people that you know. Favorite. There's people that you know. The best. It's, like, amazing, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't try to push, push him to like wrestling. No, you know? no. If, if he likes if it, he likes it. If he likes it and... Yeah, so, I mean, he he has told me that he wants to see me start wrestling again. He yeah, just, I showed him a match of mine from last year, the Lord of the Hardcore UPW right. in yeah. Michigan, and uh, it was me and Peter be beautiful, and he stuck a needle in my mouth, a yeah. syringe into my mouth, and right. and squirted out the water out the other end of the needle. And yeah, yeah. My son couldn't take it. He was like, "Daddy, that's disgusting." And I was like, oh. <laughs> well, this is what I did but, for a living. <laughs> but, then, but then I won. He was okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, "Oh, you won, and that's okay." I'm like, yeah. He doesn't like to see me lose. He should go just take him to a show and let him see what it's like, you know? Yeah. Well, I actually, um, yeah. last year when I, yeah. when I had, when I had him, I took, I, I took him with me on a wrestling uh, show, booking yeah. to Indiana and yeah, yeah. I, uh, wrestled Corporal Robinson. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was mad because he beat me. Oh. <laughs> he, was like, he beat you, Dad. I'm like, well... Yeah, can't win them all, buddy. <laughs> uh, it's kind of fun for the kids to go to the shows because they can go climb in the ring, you know, and see what it's like yeah. too, you know. Yeah. I remember when, I remember like when Balls Mahoney had his son, dude. He he was like a baby. His son was a little kid, you know. His ball, his little oh. son, watching the match the whole time, like watching ringside, like you know. Wow. He, I have a feeling he'll be the future, you know. When you get, you know, you yeah. think about it, like people like, you know, kids like the Matt, the Hardys and all those other kids, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. Even Nick and Matt, you know, the two sweet team, you know, <laughs> the Young Bucks. Yeah, oh, the, uh, the Young Bucks. Party guys. Yeah, yeah, Young Bucks. Yeah, Young Bucks, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Young Bucks. 
They made a name for themselves. <laughs> yeah. They're big. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're Japan, they're, I know. All over the place. Japan, everybody. Japan. A bucket list of places to go. I'd love to go there just to go, you know? Yeah. I, just to, I, I, I'm holding out for hope for maybe a Japan booking one day. Yeah. You know, 